Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? All you get to do, somebody's getting for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It's the day of a day of no day we call Sunday. Anyway, that being said, what's good, people? It is two for one. Okay, the Sunday means one. Two videos for one day. Anyway, that being said, what's good, people? Um, I want to talk to you about this, too. Um, I've been trying to figure this whole thing out with the transsexuals and stuff like that. Trying to figure out why is it that there are so many beautiful transsexuals out there that do not have a man. Now there are a few exceptions, but to me it's just a large amount of girls who are very beautiful, very passable, well as the ones who are very much not. But the funny because the ones who are very not that much passable all have men, which I find to be a little weird. And I've always been trying to figure out this whole game, you know, how is this whole thing works. Because I've been, you know, in the game for like about, um, most people don't know, but like I said before, I have not been a transsexual all my whole life. Some girls have been a transsexual for 20 years, stuff like that. I've been a transsexual for basically almost eight, almost nine, eight years, nine years and stuff like that. That being said, and the thing about it is I've always been with hair and everything like this. So my transition was, was a transition within my hair because everybody was that transition many many moons ago but I wasn't a transsexual but I always thought I was one but I wasn't one but anyway that being said and the thing about it is I've come to terms with what's actually going wrong in my head what's happening with the girls like me okay when you are a transsexual first of all I'm gonna speak on myself we go through um gayhood so basically we, we're, we feel so we're gay we mess with guys and stuff like that and you know when Oopala and stuff like that, we get in our free going and stuff like that, you meet the guy, you um, go to bed with him, he stays with you forever and stuff like that, you know, for years and stuff like that. Now when you decide to do your transition, you are now divorcing the, sh the gay guys. So by you divorcing the gay guys, I mean you're now opening up the womb of straight men. Now you have to understand what you're doing at this point. You're now going to be dating men who love women, not transsexuals, not gay guys, but women. So when they see you and they watch you all up there with your oopalas on and, you know, your body and everything all on point, he's going to get curious, but you'll only be a curiosity thing. He can never, not going to say everyone, this is not every guy for all the ones who are the naysayers, but he's not going to take you serious. He's not going to take you serious. And, you know, you can say, well, maybe you're wrong. I meant so-and-so, but you need to give me about five girls who actually have men and the girls will be like well you know um and i'm not talking about the girls who take care of their men you know so you can have a man so you taking care of him while you sit in the back room and you do your shit and bring the money to the back i'm talking about the girls who are out here and stuff like that 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 deserve to have a man in their life and they don't but the thing about it is that i've been trying to figure this whole puzzle out and i've come to terms with it in my head but then again you gotta watch because i'm the angry tranny anyway that man said so, I come to terms that we are now dating straight men. Now, remember how long of a process it took for us to become gay within our self learning in terms of gay. Now, a lot of people say, well, I was never gay. I was, a, I was always a woman or something. Before you even know what a transsexual was, you was gay. Deal with your issues and I'll deal with mine. But I'm not going to fake the front and I'm not going to front for you. Most of you already know y'all was dressed up like boys doing boys. So don't try to front and say, well, I was always a woman, whatever the case may be. If that's your story, you want to go with it because I'm not going to fight against your... You know, but anyway, that being said, so now you're used to the gay guys, and you know how gay guys look. Some of them are so fine, some of them look straighter than straight, some of them look pretty, some of them are just too damn gorgeous for their own good. And <laughs> we transferred that feeling and those ways over to the straight men. Now we're watching these straight men who look like gay men, but they're not gay, they just look gay, they do things that are gay, but they're not gay. And I just said, he said, well, Raven, they do a lot of gay things in the bed. First of all, they want to get fucked in the butt. They suck dick da da Yes, because you are a fish, you blow up doll to them. You are recreation. You're entertainment for them. But they do not take most of us seriously. And if you want to, if you don't want to, if you want to prove me to be wrong, then that's going to take you out. Why is it that they want to secretly be with you? Because they see you as a man. I know you may say, well, how can they see me as a man? And, you know, I'm all like this and I'm all passable. It doesn't matter. Once you know the truth of something, you see that truth. You don't see what they... I could be the prettiest bitch walking inside the room, but due to the fact of what I am, those are what I know what that is. It doesn't matter how beautiful, it doesn't matter how much work, it doesn't matter how much you change your name, it doesn't even matter if you get yourself a pussy. At the end of the day, it's going to be somebody who's going to point out the simple fact of the matter of your journey or what you was. That's the reason why I don't want a pussy. You know, some girls say, well, do you got a pussy? I, I don't have one. I don't want one. I have no need for one. Because most men I meet are, are, are just using them as recreation or purpose. And the thing about it is, we seem to take that gay mentality over to the straight men saying that, 
you know, well, you should be able to do this and this and this with me because your other guys who were gay did it, but they're not going to do it because they are straight men. I just said, you said, well, they can't be straight because they're doing this, but trust me. He'll let you, he will, he will tell you you're beautiful. He'll say, you see you as a woman. Just ask him, is he gay? And watch what he say. He goes, hell no, I'm not gay. You don't want to be seen with you. You don't want to your freedom and be seen with your friends. Stuff like and I'm not saying every man, but you are messing with straight men. So how do you expect the straight man to give you that life with the picket fence when he's not gay? He's not of the LGBT community. He's not. So for you to try to cry and beat yourself over here, why, you, why, 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 you're going back to the gay mentality. You're not going with the straight mentality. Once you open that door to the straight man, you have to realize, realize what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a man who is straight. Sure, he may be DL. Sure, he may be getting more dick than you. Sure, he may suck dick way better than you. But at the end of the day, he's going home to that woman. He's not staying with you. Anyway, that being said, and I want to hear your opinions back and forth and that. Because these men, I'm going to tell you what happened. You deal with this man that goes all this shit like that. He'll meet another girl, knock up, give her a baby. Next thing you know, they're walking down the street. He's holding a baby in his arms from her. Something you could never do. So at the end of the day, I know you said, well, I can always adopt this stuff. Like, but that's not the same with what he wants. Because when he's looking at you, he's looking at the woman he wants to pre-create. He wants you to have a baby that looks like y'all two together. Not somebody else's baby that's been, you know, aborted. Anyway, that been said, nothing's wrong with adoption. Because I, I thought about it once. I'm in fact, I went through the procedure, but we're not on that right now. I just want you to realize exactly why you girls are having so much of a hard time. You are dealing with straight men who do not see themselves as gay. They do not see themselves as bisexual. These are straight men. You are nothing more than an experiment. That's why I would say hit the pockets. Anyway, that being said. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. That's my plan of thought, and I know some girls, I want to hear what you have to see, your feedback, and the guys are listening. I want you to see what you have to say. So, well, at some point, you know, you have to do with your sexuality, but reality is that they really don't see them. If they be truthful, they do not see themselves as gay or bisexual. They're like, I'm a straight man. You look like a woman to me, so I'm straight. But reality, you know damn well when he get in that bed with you, he's doing a lot of the gay things. Anyway, that being said, I want to hear your opinion on this. And I want to say hello on the people, boo. I want to say oh people, bam. And I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. If nobody don't like it, then fuck them.